We are now just days away from the perihelion of 3I Atlas, its closest pass to the Sun, and possibly the single most important moment of its entire journey through our solar system. For months, astronomers have been tracking this visitor from another star, a small, fast, stubborn fragment of something ancient, racing through the inner solar system at more than 68 kilometers per second. It's been quiet, stable, predictable, until now. On October 29th, everything changes. That's when 3I Atlas will reach the point of maximum solar gravity. The moment when even the smallest change in speed, the faintest acceleration or braking, could alter its path forever. If there's ever a time to act, this is it. In orbital mechanics, there's a maneuver called the Oberth Effect. It's one of the most efficient tricks in spaceflight, using a planet's or star's gravity well to multiply a thrust's effect. The deeper the gravity, the more energy you gain from a single push. If 3I Atlas really were something more than just rock and ice, if it could control its own motion, then this would be the moment to do it. One brief burn near perihelion, and it could completely rewrite its future. A single controlled acceleration here could sling it toward Jupiter's orbit, or fling it beyond the sun's reach forever. In human terms, it's the ultimate cosmic intersection, a chance to decide whether to stay or to leave. Ever since 3I Atlas was first detected, speculation has flooded the internet. Posts claiming it's changing course, that it's slowing down, turning, even firing reverse thrusters. But the truth is quieter and more fascinating. The latest GOES-19 coronagraph imagery, taken between October 18th and 24th, shows the object faintly, almost ghost-like, skimming the edge of the sun's corona, right where models predicted it would be. No deviation. No unexplained accelerations. No course correction. At perihelion, 3I Atlas is expected to reach nearly 68 kilometers per second. Fast, yes, but exactly within the limits of celestial mechanics. So for now, the data remains ordinary. But this moment, this proximity to the sun, is anything but ordinary. Because if something were going to happen, this would be when. Now let's step away from data for a moment and imagine the possibility that has fueled so much curiosity. What if 3I Atlas isn't natural? What if it's not a comet, but a probe? An interstellar craft built by someone somewhere long before we existed. If that were true, if this object had intent, then this is the perfect point to act. But what would intelligent design actually do here? Heading for Earth makes no sense. Our planet is crowded, unstable, wrapped in radiation belts and unpredictable life. If you were a cautious observer, a machine built to last, you'd avoid Earth entirely. You'd aim for something bigger, more stable, and more useful. You'd go to Jupiter. Jupiter isn't just the largest planet in the solar system. It's a miniature solar system of its own, a massive gravity well surrounded by a fleet of moons, many of which hide oceans beneath their crusts of ice. Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto, three worlds rich in water and carbon compounds, orbiting within the protective magnetosphere of a gas giant that shields them from the worst of cosmic radiation. Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, even has its own magnetic field, a sign of a molten core and a possible energy source. Europa hides a vast global ocean, saltwater, active, dynamic, one of the most promising places for life beyond Earth. And Callisto, cratered, ancient and quiet, sits just outside Jupiter's radiation belts, a perfect place for a long-term base or station. If you were exploring, mining, or colonizing, Jupiter's moons would be a dream. They have what you'd need. Water for fuel, metals from asteroids, and gravity light enough for easy takeoff. From there, you could reach anywhere, inward toward Mars and Earth, or outward to Saturn and beyond. For a civilization thinking in centuries, not years, Jupiter isn't just a destination. It's a command center. And now here, where it gets interesting. 3I Atlas's orbital plane. The invisible sheet in which it travels intersects almost perfectly with Jupiter's in March 2026. If it performs even the smallest push at perihelion, it could fine-tune that alignment with pinpoint accuracy. We're not talking about a huge maneuver, just a fractional change, perhaps less than a meter per second of delta V that would be enough to bring it into a near-perfect crossing window. It's exactly what you'd expect from something intelligent enough to understand celestial mechanics and patient enough to wait millions of years to use them. Some have speculated that 3I Atlas may have originated near Barnard's star, 
a faint red dwarf roughly six light years away. The math isn't perfect, but the angles and speed match surprisingly well. If an object had been launched or ejected from that system at around 60 kilometers per second, it could have reached our neighborhood in just 30,000 years. That sounds like an eternity to us, but in cosmic time, it's barely a breath. If that theory holds, 3i Atlas may have been traveling through deep space since before humans learned to make fire. And after all that time, it just happens to intersect our system at a moment when our telescopes are advanced enough to see it. Coincidence, maybe. But it's the kind of coincidence that makes scientists uncomfortable. If this truly were a scout, a probe built to explore or even seed life, Earth would not be its first stop. Jupiter would. From a base on Ganymede, you could melt ice into hydrogen and oxygen, build fusion fuel and generate power indefinitely. You'd have protection from radiation under miles of ice and raw material in every direction. From there, you could expand easily to Europa, to Callisto, to the Trojan asteroids that follow Jupiter like cosmic breadcrumbs. A civilization could live quietly there for eons, invisible to planets farther inward, patiently watching, waiting. If anyone, or anything, wanted to secure a foothold in our solar system without drawing attention, that's where it would begin. Jupiter isn't just a planet, it's the chess move that decides the board. Of course, all of this remains speculation, the kind that excites imaginations and fills documentaries like this one. The real data, as of now, shows no proof of engines, thrusters, or artificial structure. 3i Atlas remains silent, steady, and exactly where the models predict it should be. But that's why this week matters so much. When it reaches perihelion, every telescope capable of seeing near the sun will be watching. If even the smallest deviation occurs, if it speeds up, slows down, or shifts course, it will stand out like a flare in the data. For now, everything is calm. But sometimes, right before something extraordinary happens, the universe goes quiet. Once 3i Atlas rounds the sun, it will move into the daylight glare, invisible to Earth for several days. When it emerges again in early November, astronomers will know whether it remained on course or performed a maneuver no natural body could. It's a rare moment in human history, the chance to witness an interstellar traveler under the microscope of our best instruments. No matter what happens, this event will shape how we search for future visitors and maybe how we interpret what life or intelligence looks like on a cosmic scale. For now, we wait, we track, we listen, and we remember that every signal, every light curve, every flicker of brightness from the void could be a clue from something that began its journey long before humanity existed. The truth may be simple, it may be complex, or it may be something in between, something neither natural nor artificial, but a process we haven't yet learned to name. The only certainty is this. On October 29, 2025, as 3i Atlas Dives past the sun, we'll be watching the skis, because the story of this visitor from another star isn't over yet, and whatever happens next will echo across the entire history of astronomy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy deep dive stories about the strange, the real, and the unexplained, make sure you're subscribed, and stay tuned for the post-perihelion update on what 3i Atlas does next. Because sometimes, the universe doesn't need to shout to change everything.